Previously on Fifty Shades of Pink One. My latest purchase. And it is a Kate Spade bag. Um and now let's start today's vlog. And I wanna erase every time that I see your face. And I simply can't get over it. Simply cause I can't, I can't stop missing you now. Wish I was there with you now. I don't know why that song is freaking in my head. And I know I messed it up. And I wanna erase. Cause I can't stop seeing you. Tubies, what is, what is up? Today is Saturday. I am out running my errands. Um, it was supposed to be nice today and it is freaking freezing. It is so freaking cold. I'm actually right now picking up some, um, Mexican food to bring back to the house for me and hubby. And then I have to go to the bank. Um, what else do I have to do today? I go to the bank. Um, oh, I have to go to Walmart. I have to pick up some stuff for dinner tonight. I really hate going to Walmart for certain ingredients that I need, but it's convenient and they have everything. So, you know, <laughs> Walmart is like the best place to go. So tomorrow is actually supposed to be a little nicer. Although, like I said, I thought today was going to be nice, but it's not it's freaking sunny outside but it's very like windy and cold so you know whatever but um yeah i i was playing with my camera today the new camera learning how to send over the videos to through wi-fi to my phone and or my iPad, whichever one I choose, you know, because I got some new stuff on my phone and my iPad to, like, edit my videos. And it is so cool, but um, I had to go. I had to run out. Like, I couldn't keep playing with that stuff. So, yeah, you guys, um, like I told y'all, I don't like to drive and vlog because I swear I'm going to crash. Because y'all know I get very into my conversations that I have. And I don't want to be <laughs> distracted. So, um, yeah, so I was usually if I'm in, like in a parking lot or something, I'll stop into it. I wish I had, could put like on, on a steering wheel, but that would be cool if you could, I could put something like right there. Cause it's like right, right on top of the steering wheel. And that looks pretty good, right? I wonder if they have something like that. I know they have it for the dash. So like this would be the dash right here. It's kind of like far away. But um, right here, it's like even better. Right? Should I invent it? Y'all know. Oh, that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. So, my loyal people, I'm not going to even say loyal. All the people that have just been around through my journey on YouTube from my main channel to this channel. Y'all know I have a business. And um, I do a lot of um, pop-up shops now. And also, I still have, like, my monthly subscriptions. I have, like, I want to say three humongous boxes of jewelry sitting in my attic that I just have not had an opportunity to go through, take pictures, label, all that type of stuff. But I was actually talking to one of my girlfriends who also owns her own business. And um, I'm thinking about just re-inventing um, my brand. Um, just some things like I want to change, some things I don't really like anymore. And my life is in a different direction. Like things have changed. So I kind of want to change up what I'm doing just a little bit, little tweaking here and there. And I might even change the name because although C Style Designs is like my baby. And you know, it definitely speaks to me because that's me, C Style. Like people have been calling me C Style even before I had a business and but there are so many people with the name c style and although i am the only one that has cstyledesigns.com 
I feel like it's like I don't know like too many companies have C style in their in their um not even just companies there's like a DJ named C style um I just found out there's a real estate uh agency I think in Florida called C style realty like Today I have totally let slip, <laughs> um, I don't know, time frame. So today is actually the day of IMAX and I didn't get to go, well I didn't buy tickets because supposedly we were going to be going somewhere and hubby had all these plans and um, those plans did not work out and then as you know IMAX sells out very quickly whatever so i didn't get to go but i did have a lot of errands to run this morning and i did do that and then i came home and was like oh i'm gonna um because i didn't go to sleep till kind of late last night so i was like let me take a little nap so i can just get up and um finish doing what i have to do you know all my little saturday stuff that i have to do and y'all know a little nap that i was gonna take for 45 minutes ended up being about like three hours it's almost eight o'clock it's like well 7 15. i did not plan to lay down until well i got up at six something and now i'm just kind of moving around or whatever and i'm like oh god the day is like almost over i wanted to get Laundry done, some laundry done, because I try to do laundry and shifts. I wash me and hubby's clothes separately. Um, you know, I wash his clothes one day and then I'll wash my clothes the next day or whatever, and then I'll do sheets and towels the next day. But um it's almost eight o'clock. I have to cook dinner. First I have to clean my kitchen, which is a wreck, and I have to start laundry. I have plans to clean Cooper's cage because hubby's office cooper's area whatever you want to call it is getting redone and um i have to move cooper's cage out of there but before i put his cage anywhere else i think i'm going to put it, his cage in the guest bedroom but before i move his cage anywhere i want to make sure that it's completely clean there's not like a bunch of stuff on the bottom of the cage or whatever because he throws that stuff so i wanted to do that and that takes like an hour to clean like all the nooks and crannies and reline the cage and all this crap and he's very protective of his cage so when he sees me touching his cage he wants to know what i'm doing and he will not leave until i put his cage back so that's a whole thing in itself okay so that i wanted to back in my living room my husband bought this huge piece of artwork for our living room he found a picture that he really liked online and he had someone blow it up to like triple the size it was a beautiful painting but the issue is now that it's like triple the size it's massive and the colors are really 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 vibrant our living room is really neutral i mean we have some pieces here and there we have like some accent chairs that are um orange but they're not like bright orange they're like you know muted sort of orange and so we were kind of like contemplating whether we want to use that picture for the living room because it it's like the it's so freaking big first of all that's all the, the picture that i have in the living room the one that i told you was done by a local artist and it weighs like 50 pounds that picture is pretty big the picture that we have now that we're gonna, was going to replace that is like triple the size but it hasn't been put on um, a canvas we thought about doing a canvas or maybe just framing it I don't know what we're gonna do but um, we decided we, we're not gonna put it in the living room we might put it in our entryway when you come up the stairs to our house and it'll be like the first thing you kind of see like on the wall I don't know I don't know what we're gonna do but um yeah so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start separating um, laundry so I can get a load started then I can get started on cleaning my kitchen i'll probably be catching up on my youtube videos um because i haven't really watched any youtube videos in a while um and yeah so usually when i'm home cleaning that's what i do i'll, I'll catch up on my youtube videos 
and now that I have the new camera I've been going back and forth between my phone and my camera because I don't take my camera everywhere I'm actually waiting for a case for it because that's how I messed up my last camera um, the Nikon mini and um, I didn't have a case for it and I took it everywhere and I was dropping it it was in my pocket like I think it got scratched a little bit like so I don't this camera that I have the new vlog camera I don't want to mess it up so I want to make sure that I get a proper case for it um, I want to get the monopod for it like I have a selfie stick but it's not the phone will fit on a selfie stick but not the camera the camera has the flip screen so and if I like to use the flip screen so I can see what I'm recording it's not gonna fit on the selfie stick so yeah that's what I'm doing today I hope everyone is well shout out to all my new subscribers I am not sure like where you all came from but welcome to the channel <laughs> thank you so much i truly appreciate it um i think i don't know i don't know where all of you came from but thank you so much whoever's newly subscribed i hope that you stick around um crystal that's me i'm very special <laughs> those that know me you know that i'm very special so i hope that you enjoy these random clips of my life i am not a organized vlogger i must put that out there you know um I do this in my spare time. I do this when I can. Um, and I just enjoy vlogging here and there. And I hope you enjoy my random vlogging clips if you have subscribed. And if you have already been subscribed, thank you. I appreciate you guys. Um, um, I know sometimes people leave me comments and it, you know I don't get back to them right away. I am not giving you shade. I do not think I'm better. None of that. Y'all just know I'm just slow. That's it. Just slow. <laughs> that is all it is. So let me know down in the comment section what you guys are up to. Um, did any of you go? Because by the time this clip gets loaded, IMAX would be over. Did anybody go to IMAX uh, this weekend in New York? I saw Sandy, socialized Sandy. I would have loved to meet her because she's just super cool. And I'm not really like a big, like, oh, go meet YouTube people person. Like, you know depends sort of thing but sandy is just super cool seems super down to earth she was actually at one of my favorite restaurants that i've actually vlogged about um which is red rooster i talked about this before i told you guys that my husband and i know the owner um he's on like food network now and all this type of stuff but that restaurant is bomb and um i saw that she was there i was like oh man like i could have totally you know met her if I wasn't in the sticks or whatever <laughs> but yeah it was cool so I hope to see like a vlog from her I'm sure she's gonna load up a vlog of her trip to New York and like I said it's just cool when you know people that are not from New York that I watch on YouTube and they come to New York and they go to like all the places that I'm familiar with and I'm like oh oh you know so I will see you guys later I'm gonna try to vlog a little bit more tonight because I actually haven't vlogged in a while but like I said you guys will never know because I usually um just vlog whenever and then comprise all my clips from various days and times together to get you a vlog my next vlog which you will probably see by the time you see this is um a trip to Ikea me and hubby took um to buy these shelves actually these shelves right behind me and we kind of were like walking through the store and it was like a storm a snowstorm 50 million snowstorms in new york this year yeah and i hope you guys are enjoying these vlogs i am definitely trying to do better like i did say that i was gonna try to do like every few days and um i was doing well and then it kind of went to like every two weeks or something like that every three weeks before y'all know i never used to i used to load upload like once a month maybe even like once every month and a half two months and that is so horrible i know i know i know but you guys know like i just do it for fun and a hobby but i do appreciate like the people that support me and watch me and kind of follow my journey and communicate with me and we're able to share like information and things like that and i truly i enjoy that so that's what makes it fun for me as soon as it becomes not fun is when i won't be bothered anymore but thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next clip Whatever. Next time on Fifty Shades of Pink One. And Dark and Lovely actually just said the same thing. Like back in the days, I used to get a lot of those people too. Like on my main channel, 
um, you know, commenting on the videos. And honestly, back in the days, I wasn't checking my messages from YouTube. So some.